Hi, welcome to another Tomcat video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to basically hook an EV, like this electric bike, up into an audio amplifier, almost like you're plugging in an electric guitar. This is going to give you authentic electric vehicle sounds from the motor versus what they're using currently, which is a software-based or a triggered-based pre-recorded sample sounds. So this is going to be giving you the authentic actual motor signal sound from the electric vehicle. Okay, so here are the two ingredients for this project. You're going to need an electromagnetic wave sniffer and then you're going to need a guitar pedal or something that will take this low level output and amplify it. Kind of would give you kind of some DIY control over the sounds that you're hearing. You know, you could do something obnoxious with it, of course, you know, blasting sounds around and trying to make a chopper or something weird like that. But the, the real goal is just to like understand how your electric vehicle works by hearing its actual motor signal. So here are the basic elements you need for this project. We have your electromagnetic wave sniffer, which is uh, these two inducers plus an op amp chip that's going to amplify the electromagnetic waves that it's picking up. So we have this kind of basic version. I have this more kind of um, complex version from Italy. It's called Nascuta. Um, it has a uh, frequency adjustment um, and volume adjustment built into it. Um, and then I have a really basic one, which is just two inductive elements with a headphone jack out. So there's your electromagnetic wave sniffers. They both run on a 9-volt battery system, or at least these two do. Um, and you'll need a 9-volt battery. And then you need some way of amplifying that uh, to get a better sound. So here, for example, we have a multi-effects pedal. And uh, this allows you to kind of get some different sounds like wah-wah or delay or echo, echo delay um, effects. And then here's an iRig, which you can also use. I found success with this in the past where you can put this to your phone. And then uh, you basically can use effects pedals on your phone through an app. And what's cool about that is you can then use your phone's output audio to go to a Bluetooth speaker, and then you can move that Bluetooth speaker around your electric vehicle to different locations and get some like uh, really cool sound out of it. Or you could hook it up to your car stereo system um, so you could get the uh, motor sounds from your car coming through your stereo system through your phone's Bluetooth. So that's a really cool option. Um, so basically your setup is like this. You need an audio out cable it's like a sorry headphone jack cable plug it into this adapter and then you're going to go into your pedal your guitar pedal and then you plug in your electromagnetic wave sniffer like this or this one similar you just plug it into the headphone jack like that or if you have this simple circuit all you need to do is go directly from these two inductive elements these two inductive elements like that to here and then you have this simple circuit. And then this either goes to your headphones or to your guitar amplifier. And in the case of this one, it goes to your app, to your phone. And you can get an adapter for the USB-C connector or there's newer versions of these types of devices that have USB-C connection to your phone. So that's a really cool, simple setup. We'll get the uh, sounds going and see how these three different options sound. And then I'll put uh, links to these uh, devices in, in the uh, description below. Okay, so here are your ingredients again. We have the electromagnetic wave sniffer right here with the inductive elements right here. And then on the inside, there's the op amp chip. This is a DIY kit. And then we have the guitar pedal. So there's an inputs and outputs and a headphone output. So what you're gonna need is this jack that's gonna go from the headphone jack to the guitar style output. You're going to put that on the input for the guitar pedal and then you're going to take your EMF sniffer. They usually will have a, a, an audio out that's like a headphone jack. So you plug that in. So now that we have these two connected together, then you're going to connect something that's like your basically your speaker. In this case, you could use a 
uh, like a Bluetooth speaker or anything off of the headphone jack. But since I have this guitar amp right here, I'm just gonna plug that in. Um, so we're gonna plug the guitar uh, amp in like this, turn on the guitar amp. And we're gonna check the output for that, turn up the master. And basically that's our circuit. And we can just turn on the uh, electromagnetic wave sniffer, start to see if we have any signal. There's the uh, inductive elements again. Okay, and then all you need now is an electric vehicle like this rad power bike. And then you're gonna to need to place this device, this sniffer, between the motor controller and the motor. And what's really nice about this hub motor is that the, the uh, signal wire for the, motor, for the motor is exposed. It's on the outside. So you can get to it and put these inducers right up against the, right against that, that signal wire. So let's do that and we'll, we'll see what it sounds like. Right here we have your motor controller and then your signal wire down to the motor. There's your phase wires and all that. Um, and basically you wanna put this electromagnetic sniffer somewhere that's gonna be intersecting the signal to the motor, the phase wires and the, the current going through there. This is pretty cool. The symbol inductors, the two inductors actually sound really cool and it's super robust because it's just a wire with two inductors on it. So here's what that sounds like. <laughs> So why do a project like this? Why add an audio circuit to an electric vehicle? The re main reason I'd see would be for safety. As the uh, future develops with more intermediary vehicles and maybe lightweight electric mopeds or electric motorcycles or kind of things that may share more spaces in the city with pedestrians, even robotics, um, we may want to add these simple audio tools to the vehicle to let pedestrians know that, that a vehicle is coming. This doesn't use software, it's very simple. You can make it add, an add-on module to any vehicle, like integrating this with the amplifier circuit. Um, you could you know, have a speaker that clips onto the front of a vehicle and then a little adjustment that kind of dials the volume to an appropriate level based on the vehicle. The other idea I had, which was I think kind of a future state idea, would be making a module like this and then collecting data from an electric vehicle fleet by putting these modules next to the electric motor in a specific location and then using an AI algorithm to analyze the data. There's something wrong with the controller. So like maybe the controller is putting out a bad signal or the motor has some sort of resistive issue. But by analyzing that data, that wave that it's getting off of these inductive elements that are separate from the circuit, so it's like air gap from the EV circuit, it kind of can give an outside view of what may be happening to the electric vehicle signal that's going to the motor. And if there's a problem, it could alert the uh, it could alert you, or it could uh, you could read that data and say, oh, there's something wrong with this motor controller. The AI algorithm says that it's overvolting, or this the, the controller signal is bad, or the motor is overly resistive, or the regen sounds weird. So that would be a really fun, cool future application for this technology. That's it for this Tomcat video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, you enjoyed the sounds coming off of these things. And we'll see you for a future uh, Tomcat video.